Well, hi there, pluckers. I was sore fingers again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for something a little different. This one is a, a request I've had for a lesson on a song by Slade called How Does It Feel? Unfortunately, this song is very heavily based on a piano with walking bass lines. There's a bass guitar on the track which is very heavy, uh, heavy, fe heavily featured and it's, that also has got walking bass lines all over it. And um, uh, there's not an acoustic guitar in sight <laughs> on this record. So uh, to make an acoustic uh, single guitar version on this is uh, quite daunting but I've come up with something. I hope some people like it, some people probably hate it. But there you have it. Okay, I've been asked to do it, so here it is. Standard tuning, no capos, doing it in the same key that Slade originally recorded the song in, okay? So uh, here it comes, okay? Singing as usual for reference only, okay? How does it feel? Running around, round, round. How does it feel? Watching from upside down. Cause many years from now, there'll be a new sensation, a new temptation. How does it feel? How does it feel right at the start? And how does it feel when you're afraid apart? Because many years from now there'll be a new elations, new frustrations. How does it feel? Oh, 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 do you know, no, no, what it's like to be searching for them in your own time? All your attempting, experimenting on the climb. Do you know, no, no, what it's like to be searching and totally fine? All your illusion, all your confusion, all left behind. Right, so let's try and break it down for you, for those of you interested enough to do it. <laughs> so I'm starting off with a C chord, right? And I'm playing a basic simple C chord from the fifth string down to the second string, okay? Then what I'm doing is I'm removing my first finger and opening up the second string and playing the second string open, okay? 
Then I'm playing the second fret of the third string, open third string. So, so far. Then the second fret of the fourth string, the D string, open third string. So now we've got this. Okay, let me do that again for you. Right, and the second part is uh, this, I'm barring the uh, third fret of the fourth, third and second strings with my third finger and I'm just strumming those three strings, four, three, two, okay? Fourth string, third string and second string, just a single strum. Then my first finger is playing the second fret of the third string, so... And then my first, uh, second finger is taken over and playing the third fret of the fourth string, so you got... Then my third finger is coming in playing the third fret of the third string, so... Then my first finger is playing that second fret again on the third string, and finally second finger, third fret, fourth string. So you've got... Okay, do that slowly. So now you've got the whole intro and you just you play the whole intro twice okay so intro is this again okay and that's also used as the outro and also there's a bit in the middle of the song just before the lead break uh, where it's played as well Okay, so that's the intro. Now, when you've done the intro, uh, they go into the verse, obviously, and I'm playing uh, a C chord, but on the 8th fret, as an F shape. Okay, so an F shape on the 8th fret, and that's the C chord, and I'm playing a 4-fingered uh, C chord. So this 3rd finger of the F shape is going up a string to the 5th string, on the 10th fret and Pinky is taking over where that one was on the 4th string on the 10th fret and I've got, now I've got a 4 fingered C chord uh, as an F shape okay? and all I'm doing with that is I'm just down stroking it chink 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 so I... okay and then I'm moving that shape as it is down two frets to the sixth fret B flat and I'm doing the same thing it's like eight eight strokes on each chord right? one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight back at to C another eight one two three four five six seven eight and another eight on B flat one two Okay, so to put that into context, I'll play the intro and then I'll play the first couple of lines of the verse and you'll see where it fits, okay? Here you go. Simple, yeah? Right, now comes a little bit more tricky. From that part, we go to an F minor 6. Right, so F minor. First three strings barred at the first fret. Third finger, that's first finger. The third finger is playing the third fret of the D string, the fourth string. That's an F minor, yeah? And now, to make it a 6, we add pinky to the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. There. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is an F minor 6, OK? And I'm just playing those 4 strings. 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, OK? 
okay chink 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 now you'll notice a lot of this song is chink 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 as typical slade there's a lot of their songs are very chunk 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 on the guitar and so i thought it would suit uh, the, the slade song okay so that's why you saw that in it so coming out of that um so that's the first chord of the next bit where it goes uh, many years from and again it's it's four chinks on that so many years from one two three four one two three four all down strokes yeah and then we change to a b diminished yes <laughs> third fret of the fourth string first finger second finger is playing the third fret of the b string the second string third finger is playing the fourth fret of the g string third string and um, pinky is playing the fourth fret of the top e string it should sound like that a b diminished and again i'm just chunking those four strings one four three two one four times okay so you've got the f minor six and then this b diminished four times Okay, so now what we've got is this. So coming out of that, um, uh, the, the the verse bit. Okay, so how does it feel running around, round, round? How does it feel watching from upside down? Right, here we go. F minus six. Many years from now, there'll be a but to see now. New sensation on new, new sensation. Again, it's chunk, chunk, chunk. Okay, new sensation. The eight, eight chunks on that one. New sensation. And on, on the next bit, new temptations. You put, you make the C a C seventh, adding your pinky to the third fret of the G string to make that a C seventh. Okay. okay? So now we've got this. Um, Many years from now, there'll be new sensations and new temptations. How does it F feel? Four chunks on F feel. And then four chunks on G seventh. That's at the G bar chord, third fret, pinky off. Four chunks on that G seventh, and then we do the next verse, which is exactly the same to play as what we just played. Okay, the second verse. So let's just go through this whole verse bit, and then I'll go into the second verse, and you'll see it's exactly the same. Okay, so here we go. How does it feel running around, round, round? How does it feel watching from upside down? Because many years from now there'll be new sensations and new temptations. How does it feel? How does it feel right at the start? How does it feel when you're thrown apart? Many years from now, there'll be new relations and new frustrations. How does it feel? Right, so it's exactly the same up to that point as the first verse, okay? Now, when you come out of that second verse, a new frustrations, how does it feel? F four times, G seven four times. But we don't go back up here this time. We go to a normal C shape, all right? Four times on that, and then C seventh again four times. Okay, so that coming out of that second verse, um, where it goes, um, uh, many years from now there'll be new relations and new frustrations how does it feel oh 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 ok 
Okay, now we're going into the uh, bridge section. Okay, and we're going into a D minor. Okay, so fifth fret bar chord, minor shape. Do you know, do you know, no, no, what it's? Okay, now it's D minor. It was four, four strikes on another chunk, 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 D minor, four strokes. Do you know, do you know, no, no. There were four strokes on E seventh. Now this is an E seventh, right. I like, you have to really play here to get the right sound, okay? And you also you're in the same position, you know, you're not moving your hand around all over the place. D minor, E seventh. Now, if you haven't played this E seventh before, if you can imagine a C seventh which you played earlier, and move that whole shape up. So the first finger is on the fifth fret of the fifth, uh, the second string. So I'm on the that's that first finger is now on the fifth fret. Okay. That one's on the sixth, and these two are on the seventh. These 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 two are on the seventh, yeah. And that's the same chord as the C seventh, but starting on the fifth fret. Now, as it's an E seventh, both the top E and the bottom E are E notes, so it doesn't matter if you strike them. Um, so if, if you want to strike those, it won't sound wrong because you are in E. It's an E chord, okay. Um, you'll notice I'm probably not hitting all the strings. I'm usually trying to probably play five down to uh, two. But, and I'm resting my thumb on the bottom E string so it doesn't actually sound. But if you do hit it open, it doesn't matter with this chord because it is an E chord. Okay. So E minor four strokes. Do you know, do you know, no, no, but it's like, like to be searching in your time. Now, I stuck this in because I thought it sounded quite nice. There is a bass, the, the bass guitar is actually doing that, but I put that in. So what I'm doing there, so a D minor four strokes, one, two, three, four, E seven, four strokes, two, three, four. Now, if you don't want to play this, just play an A minor. But what I was doing is this. Double note on uh, it's like a uh, it's like an, uh, um, an octave double stop. Okay, so my first finger is playing the fifth uh, fret of the bottom E string, and my third finger is playing the seventh fret of the fourth string. So you've got an octave. Okay, but what I'm doing is this first finger is lent inwards. And the back of the first finger is resting on the fifth string, the A string. So it's muting it. It doesn't sound, yeah? So when you hit into that sixth string, fifth string and fourth string, you're only actually hearing the, the sixth string and the fourth string. So you get that octave double stop sound. of some of the early kink stuff yeah that sort of thing yeah so that's how I'm getting that sound if you don't want to play that just play an A minor chord fifth fret minor shape bar chord okay so four strokes on D minor E seventh in this run down two two hits on each one yeah Go down one fret at a time end up on the second fret of the sixth string. So two notes on that, two notes on that, two notes, two hits on each one, yeah? And then back to the D minor again. Four strokes, E7, four strokes. And then A minor, this time we're playing the A minor, yeah? And then go down to a G7 for four strokes. Okay, got that? So let's do the end of that, um, the end of the second verse going into this bit, okay, where it goes, um, many years from now, the new elations, some new frustrations, how does it feel? Oh, oh. Do you know, know, know what 
just like to be searching in your own time Or you're tempting experimenting on the climb oh, oh, There's another one I forgot So when you come out of the second When you come out of that attempting or experimenting or on the climb You just stay on the A minor, yeah? For four, four strokes And then basically make it an A minor seventh By removing your pinky which is normally it's on at the moment it's on the seventh fret of the fourth string. Just remove the pinky. You've got an A minor seventh. So from the beginning of this bit, it goes. Uh, Do you know, know what it's like to be searching in your own time? Or you're tempting, experimenting all on the climb. Four there, and then A minor seventh four. And do the D minor bit again. Do you know no E7 and the run down is in and suddenly fine. D minor or your illusion E7 or your confusion or left B A minor two three four then G7 four. Right, so we're doing quite well there. Let's do this middle bit again now. So that's the whole middle bit now, okay, that we've got. So coming out of the second verse, uh, uh, right. Many years from now, there'll be a new relation, some new frustrations. How does it feel? Oh, oh, do you know, know, know what it's like to be searching in your own time? We're tempting, we're experimenting all on the climb. A minor seventh, D minor. Do you know, know, know what it's like to be searching and suddenly find all your illusion, all your confusion, all left behind? G seven intro. So we do that middle section and then we do the intro twice, okay, after the G7th into the intro. And when you've done the intro twice, you do this little lead riff where it goes. Alright, that bit, alright. So what I'm doing there is an open E string, first fret E string, bottom E string, it's all on the bottom E string this bit, okay, up to the third fret. Bottom E string, and you hit that twice. Okay, got that? And you do it again, so you do that twice. But the third time you do it, you only hit the G third fret sixth string once, okay, instead of twice. So two on the first two times, but only once on the third time, right? Then we do the second part, which is 1st fret, 5th string, open A string, open 5th string, and then two hits on the bottom E string, 1st fret, and again, do it again, twice, and then the third time, only once. Okay, it's the same as you did with the other one. And then you repeat the first one again and the second one again. So the whole does the whole thing twice. So here we go. Sorry. Okay, got that. So it does that whole thing twice. And then we go into the second part of the verse where it goes um, Cause many years from now there'll be some new relations Okay, so goes. There'll be some new 
tribulations some new frustrations how does it feel whoa we're going to go into the middle bit again whoa whoa do you know do you know what it's like to be searching in your own time or you're attempting you're experimenting or a minor a minor seventh D minor bit again Do you know, know, know what it's like to be searching and suddenly find All the illusion, all the illusion left behind G7 Intro Twice end of song and that's it you've got it hopefully <laughs> well just if you get stuck just go through my playthrough and you'll see where we're at okay if you forget the uh, arrangement but hopefully some of you may like that it's um, it's it's not the easiest thing to do on a single acoustic guitar that song <laughs> and make it interesting anyway thanks for watching listen, listening and i'll see you in the next video bye for now